Hi guys, it's me again. Okay guys, today I want to talk about something that I actually kind of started speaking about yesterday and it is protecting your energy. What I mean by that is you should not be giving just anybody access to your soul, your true nature, your emotions, your opinions on things. I feel like that is really, really, really valuable, especially because evil light is a real thing. Like you cannot just give anybody access to you. It's not safe especially when people some people are not even contributing to your happiness not even contributing to your goals don't be telling them anything don't tell them things you have in mind don't tell them things you've accomplished because not everyone wants stuff to work out for you so i'm not gonna say that everyone is out there to get you i'm not gonna say that everyone is there to push you down and not want you to make it but like it's really hard to pick out who's actually there for you and who isn't and i'm not gonna lie to you a lot of the times especially with girls unfortunately um the people that you think are actually there for you like the people that show themselves that they're there for you to show themselves you know what i mean like they're there always there they're always like go go whatever but they don't really invest in generally spending time with you and always trust your intuition like if you always have something in the back of your mind like okay this person seems to be supporting me but something is off yeah those people are usually the ones you cannot trust they're usually the ones you shouldn't say too much to like and like i said even if okay you're mistaken and they're actually there for you and they're not like out there to get you or anything at least you still protected yourself i'd rather be wrong in identifying who's not there for me than being wrong in identifying who's there for me like I feel like it's way worse when you trust someone tell them everything and then all of a sudden like they start spreading stuff they start telling people your goals your plans like I feel like it's so personal I feel like vision boards goals and accomplishments I feel like they're really personal stuff like even posting it on social media I'm not really big on saying guys I made this guys I did this like I know how to celebrate on my own and with my close ones. I don't need anyone else's approval and you shouldn't need it to, uh, either because you're, you should be happy yourself. Like you accomplished something, you should be like, yes, I did it. Like, and celebrate. And you can even celebrate with people, but like, you don't always have to be like, yes, because I did this and I worked so hard for this. Sometimes you don't have to say everything was so hard. Like, yeah, things are hard, but not everyone needs to know your struggle as well. Like, I feel like nowadays, I don't know what it is, but I feel like we've kind of conditioned ourselves to think that by showing that we struggle to do something, we're more genuine, like we're more relatable. Okay, um, not everything is a struggle or not everything is a struggle in the present moment. There's a lot of stuff that you're accomplishing now because you did a lot of hard work in the past, but like you don't need to tell people, oh, I worked so hard for this. I don't know. like. It depends on, I'm 50-50, because when I see people uh, posting their accomplishments, I'm usually quite supportive, but I know that not everyone is supportive, not everyone is there to be like, yeah, you did it. Some people are there to watch you and be like, okay, that's what she did. And you're never gonna get that, oh, you actually inspired me and all of that. Like, do you know what I mean? Like, accomplish stuff and be happy with your own goals, celebrate your goals, but, don't look for other people's approval too much i don't know like honestly this is a discussion like i say in every video feel free to comment and tell me listen elisa i completely disagree with you or i completely agree with you like i'm all for it i love like an open talk i love this dialogue i just completely love it but yeah so always always protect your energy in any way and even when someone comes up to you especially someone that 
isn't really like close to you comes up to you and is like um how are you you have no business in telling them well last night i didn't sleep too well because um, i had like a falling out with this person and um, guys why are you saying so many details why just feel like fine or i'm good or yeah i'm okay oh what did you do oh nothing much any news oh this is a question i completely hate i'm so sorry i know hate is a very strong word and my mom has always told me this growing up like elisa don't say you hate stuff it's a really really strong word if you say you hate stuff something mean it but okay i completely dislike when people ask oh this i feel like it's a very portuguese thing like tell me some news so in portuguese you say ah novidade and that just basically means like news new stuff going on in your life and it's like why i don't know unless like i feel like whoever needs to know this stuff already knows it because i talk to them regularly like my mom my boyfriend and close family and friends now why is someone i haven't spoken to in a year and i was never even close to is coming up to me tell me news bro if you wanted to be around you should have stayed around and now because you weren't around even though we're on okay terms i you were not here like it's okay i'm not gonna be like okay so i accomplished this thing one month after speaking to you and then no no news unless you're gonna say like the most like sometimes i just give them like the most dead uh bit of information that can sound exciting but for me it's just like eh. i'll say something like oh um well i actually really enjoyed this semester at university like i'll say something like that like never accomplishments but always like oh i really liked doing this i went i went to this place and it was actually quite nice i completely like i recommend it if you want to go and stuff like that. like i say the most vague broad stuff like because you have no business say every single detail like there is no i actually don't understand how someone can like not talk to you for time but they're available i know there's some circumstances where someone might actually not be available and then that's genuine but let's say someone that's there but it's never it's not actually there and it all of a sudden is like tell me some news about your life why do you want to know news about my life why no if you wanted to be around you stayed around now it's kind of weird man let's just bounce back from here don't be asking me about i don't know i feel like mm, uh. but yeah like whatever you do protect your energy just protect it protect it like even in one of the videos i released recently the little you the child you is still in there and it's like you're almost like a mother or father or parent to this little you and you only show your inner child because the inner child is still there i a lot of people think like they've grown up and then they just forget that the inner child is still in them she's still there or he's still there so you're just there to protect him or her and only show her to who you really want to show her to don't just be showing her to anyone because the same way people can take advantage of children they can take advantage of your inner child did you know what i mean like because it's such a precious genuine innocent and naive version of you and you can't be showing that to just anybody no matter how excited which is part of your inner child no matter how excited you are and how happy you are to say these things because that's how children are and that's how you are deep inside protect yourself like you have to kind of like step out of that inner child and protect her and only show her to who you should like. thank you guys so much for watching bye bye kisses